Hello guys, welcome to Life of Pope. Today we are going to a typical Ghanaian market. Come with me and enjoy this video. Hello guys, welcome here with Life of Cook here just from Ghana, travel, food, culture, family and everything you want to know about Ghana. So today I'm taking you to Dome Market. Okay, Dome Market is in Accra, Ghana, West Africa. So now I'm at the food sector. This is pineapple, pure beer, pure organic pineapple. And now we are buying some watermelons because I love food. So that is my host. Man, I will say my host father. <laughs> I'm a host father who I went to the market with, and this is the guy we call them Kayas. They are the how do they call it in English? Kayas. They are the people who help you carry your goods when you go to the market. So I was asking her name. She said she's called Akusia. Yeah. So anytime you go to the market, they are around. They will just come and carry your goods for you wherever you want to take it to. And you Paid them, so it's a job. It's like a job in Ghana, literally. But anyways, it's not really. I don't know. It's not really a job. People love doing it. It's very stressful. I'm really, really surprised how these ladies survive. But yeah, that's what they do. And here are the food stuff sectors. Yeah, food stuff. You get yam, fresh yam, potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. And there's cassava, ripe plantain, plantains. Here too are vegetables, ripe, garden eggs, um, prekese, tomatoes, green pepper, red pepper, onions, spices, everything vegetables you get from here, the side. Yeah, these people sell provisions as well, drinks. Yeah, so from the side, as you can see. But let me tell you, in Accra, things are expensive as, in, as compared to Kumasi. I'll bring you the Kumasi one so that you will see what I'm, I'm saying. Some, some of the things are very expensive in Accra, but they are cheaper in Kumasi. So as you can see, we stopped to buy some green peppers. We call this pakoshi. Oh, it smells good when you add it to your sauce, your soup, whatever. It smells so good. It tastes good as well. It's not that sharp. It's not that spicy when compared to the red one. I just like the smell of it. So that's what we're buying. Can you imagine this with this five cities? But you get a little bit more when you buy the same five cities in the Okay. Yeah, so that's five cities. For Bakushita. And I hope that is. I was surprised. Oh, surprise. Three. Did you hear the lady? Three for three cities, three for five cities. Wow. You see, things are getting more expensive and expensive. More expensive in Ghana, man. It's not easy. Anyways, yeah, I'm just telling you the prices so that you budget when you're going to Ghana. Things are not cheap as before, especially now. Yeah, in Kumasi Crown and now from Sa. Five city gardeners. You take them like that, you get me? So even anytime you buy something, you put it in a pan, as you can see, Akosia is carrying the pan, you just put it in a pan. And my garlic pie series. Wait. As you can see, three, is it three or four? Three bulbs of garlic. It's spicy. Guys, garlic. On the garlic, on your price. So, guys, yeah, that is Ghana down for you. Yes. Um, 
As you can hear, people be calling you. They are serious. They be calling you. Come and buy you. I have this. I have that. It's fresh. It's not that expensive. Oh, may you hear? That means they will at least they will, the the price is okay, and they will add more to whatever you want to buy. You know, they will give a good service. That's basically what it means. So everybody will be calling you at the market. They are serious. They are there to sell. You get me? Yeah. The five said they need it. Hey, three said I was surprised. I was just complaining about them. Cutting is it was too hey. Three said they got it especially. What am I going to use it for? So I told my host that let's buy some of this white one, the red one, because normally we use the red one for soup. And the white one for sauce or soup. Again. So we put some of these. My two. Thank you. you. <laughs> Now we are going to the meat sector to get some gold, some beef, you got me soup with it. But in crack, I have some for the cook. No one here for the cook. Yeah, that's why we're going to the meat sector. <coughs> And from here is frozen food sector. As you can see, we have cold store. We want frozen food. Let's start from here. Yeah. So here is a cold, cold store sector. Frozen food. Guys, sorry for the the way I was holding the camera. It wasn't easy to film this video at all, but I tried. After choosing the part that you want, the part, the quantity, they will scale it. They have to scale it. That will determine the price. So if it's meat, beef, gold, lamp, whatever you want to buy, you show them what you want and they will scale it. That will determine the price, yeah. So that's the meat sector, the meat market.
At this juncture, we were done with the shopping. We got all what we needed, so we were going to the car. So this is outside the market at the roadside. We have got some shops, some hawkers are going by, people with trucks, people are selling food, fried food, takeaways. Yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a typical Ghanaian market in Ghana, West Africa. And this market is not that choked with a lot of people. There are not plenty of people. <laughs> so I loved it. Whatever you need from food, food stuff, from vegetable, from soup, from whatever, groceries, whatever you need, you get that done. I hope you enjoy your food. How can you we shop when we go to the market? If you're new here, you are welcome. This life of Popia. The old farm, I love you guys. The love is deep. Continue supporting your girl. It's not easy to get the thousand. I've been struggling. But the real ones, I know you support me. When you watch, share, please. And like. Comment below. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. So that we, the family will be plenty and plenty, plenty, plenty this year. So guys, this comes to the end of this video. Enjoy the rest. Just to miss the mark. Adios. More are coming from Ghana vlog. Love you. Bye. <laughs>